Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef, with another easy-to-make recipe. On this edition, we're going to make one of my favorite omelets. I actually first had this in Paris, France, and I've loved it ever since. It is potato, tomato, onion, mushroom, and cheese. It sounds really complicated, but it's not. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this step-by-step. Okay, so here we are. We have our ingredients ready for our potato, tomato, mushroom, onion, and cheese omelet. What we need is a small red potato, or any boiling potato will do. Just don't get a baked potato or a sweet potato. They will not do in this recipe. Um, we have two mushroom buttons. We have a small onion, one Campari tomato, which is going to be add a little bit of zest to this recipe. We have a quarter cup of cheese, and four eggs. Now I'm going to show you how to make it. The first thing we want to do is slice the potato. And we're going to slice it in half, then slice one half down the middle, and then we're going to slice it into eighths. And these are about um, one eighth to a quarter inch thick slices. So there's some of the potato. And you can see it makes nice little pieces that will fit inside the omelet. Now we're probably not even going to use this half of the potato, but I'm still going to cook it. I wouldn't know what to do with it otherwise. And if it turns out there's room for a little bit extra potato, then I'll certainly throw it into the omelet. I have a saucepan boiling with water for the potatoes. All I'm going to do is take the potatoes, put them in a slotted spoon, and lower them into the water. I use the slotted spoon to make sure that I don't get burned if the water splashes back. Now I'm going to cover the pan and let this cook for eight minutes. Eight minutes is all you need for sliced potatoes and that will make them soft enough to stand up to the omelet. Now the one thing you want to do is keep an eye on this because it will start to boil pretty quickly and you're going to need to lower the heat down to keep it from boiling up over the lid. So it's coming back to a boil and I'm going back down to medium heat. While the potatoes are cooking, let's prepare our other ingredients. First of all, we're going to take the tomato, this Campari tomato. I like the Campari tomatoes because they tend to be sweeter. And, but you can use any tomato. You really just want about, um, it probably comes out to about four tablespoons of uh, chopped tomato. So what I'm going to do is cut it in half and clean the seeds out. The reason I'm taking the seeds out is if I don't, the omelet's going to come out way too wet. So just take your thumb and do this. That'll take the seeds out. And now what I'm going to do is just cut it into small pieces. I do want to get rid of this core first. There we go. So, just cut this down into very small pieces. There we go. Okay, so that's our tomato. And then we'll cut the mushroom also into smaller pieces. And what we're going to do is saute these vegetables so they will cook down even further. And these mushrooms and the tomatoes were rinsed off and the mushrooms were dried after being rinsing. There we go, there's our mushrooms. And the onion, what we're going to do is cut the top off, peel off the skin. This outer skin feels kind of rough, so I'm going to take that off too. So it's like a layer of onion, but it's really kind of tough. Let's just peel that off. OK. 
Okay, then I like to score the top in one direction and then score it in the other direction. Now some people like their onion really chunky. I like it cut kind of fine. I find that it, it um, distributes the taste a lot better in this dish. And I'm just cutting down. And I'm only going to use half of this onion. That's about a quarter cup, and that's plenty. There we go. There's our vegetables all ready for sauteing. Now before we saute the vegetables, what I like to do is prepare the omelet egg mixture. So I crack the eggs into a good sized bowl, and naturally I have to drop a shell in the first crack, but I got that. And I make sure to wash my hands whenever I'm working with eggs, and especially if I get the egg product on my hand. That way I won't be spreading it around my kitchen, which increases the risk of um, salmonella contamination. So wash your hands with soap and water whenever you're working with eggs or meat or any kind of food that may harbor salmonella. The secret to making the egg mixture fluffy when it's cooked as the omelet is adding a tablespoon of water. Some people add milk, some people add cream. I find water works just fine and the eggs fluff right up. So then what I'm going to do is take a fork, you can certainly use a whisk if you have one, and just mix it up until it's nice and uniform. You don't want a lot of chunk in this. There we go. So the egg mixture is prepared. Okay, now let's check on the potatoes. It has been eight minutes. Oh, they have a nice soft feel to them. I'll test one of the pieces. That's perfect. And you know they're ready when you can stick the fork in and there's a little bit of resistance, but it's smooth resistance. You don't want to feel like this kind of um, hard resistance to the fork moving into the potato. And you also don't want it so soft at the other end the potato falls apart when you stick the fork in it. Now what I'm going to do to stop the cooking process is get cold water in with the potatoes. This will make sure that they don't continue to cook in that hot water while we're making the other, um, the other ingredients, while we're sauteing and preparing the egg mixture. So just do this and you can set it aside. Now we're ready to saute our vegetables. I took a tablespoon of oil and I put a um, small fry pan on just below medium heat. And this will give us uh, plenty of power to saute with. Okay, so there's the vegetables in the pan, and you just want to stir this around occasionally while it's sautéing. And the mushrooms will cook down some, the onions will get a little bit more clear. And while we're sautéing that, what we'll do is we'll also prepare the egg mixture. So what I've done for the egg mixture is I've put a tablespoon of butter into the pan, and this is a large fry pan. There we go. And it's also on just below medium heat. 
And I'm going to give the egg mixture just another quick whisk with the fork and then pour it in. There we go. So the point with the egg mixture, and this usually takes about five minutes, is for it to cook on the bottom, for a layer of it to cook on the bottom. And you can tell when it's ready for the other ingredients to be added when these clear spots in the egg, when they start to turn kind of a hazy, milky color. That means that the um, base layer is cooked. So as you can see, the onion, mushroom, and tomato are sauteing nicely. Now what I want to do is drain the potatoes and add them to this to warm them back up again. So I drained the potatoes and I'm putting them into our omelet mixture. And again, I'm using just half of the potatoes that we made um, from that potato that we sliced up. That's just half of them. Because literally there's only so much the um, egg mixture, the omelet, can handle. Mm -mm -mm. So the onions are looking nice and clear. That means this is all done. That means the sautéing process is all done. And it's time to add this to the egg mix. So as you can see, the egg mixture does have that milky, solid underbelly to it. The top level can still be um, on the wet side, but I just want to make sure that before I add the sautéed ingredients, that there's a nice base for it so they don't fall right through the egg and get cooked on the pan again. So what I'm going to do is take our sautéed vegetables and add them to half of the pan. just half because what we're going to do is we're going to fold the other half over this half. That's what an omelet looks like. But we don't do that yet. We have to make sure that everything is all firmed up before we do that. Now I'm putting our quarter cup of cheese on the other half. That'll make a nice roof for the omelet. And now I'm going to cover it. That makes sure that all of the ingredients on the top cook. So now that the omelet mixture, the entire omelet, is inside the covered pan, I'm going to cook it for about three to five minutes. So check it after three minutes. If the um, left side of it looks pretty solid, there isn't any runny egg, then it's ready. So three minutes later, I take the cover off. Now the cheese looks nice and melted. Um, the other side looks like it's very well cooked, so I'm going to flip it. Flip the cheese half on top of the vegetable half. Now if a lot of water comes running out from the vegetables, you can cook this for a few more minutes with the cover on and that will evaporate that water. In this case, it didn't happen. So this is ready to serve. So here you have it, our potato, tomato, mushroom, onion, and cheese omelet. Serve it up with some baguette slices and a dollop of Dijon, and it will be just like eating in a Paris cafe. And please, take a look at my other easy, step-by-step -step chef videos on my YouTube channel. And until I see you next time, bon appetit!